In a world where chaos often seems to prevail, finding peace can be a significant challenge. Today, we'll explore how to achieve lasting serenity in turbulent times, inspired by the profound teachings of C.S. Lewis. Known for his eloquence and wisdom, he not only shaped modern Christian thought, but also left us a legacy of how faith can be a safe haven amidst life's storms. Let's delve into his ideas, unraveling complex concepts and making them accessible so each of us can apply them in our daily lives. Watch until the end to discover how to transform chaos into peace, guided by the light of Lewis's teachings and the strength of the Christian faith. Prepare for a journey of reflection and hope, where we'll learn not only to survive, but to spiritually thrive, even in the most challenging moments. One degree, it's never too late to set another goal or to dream a new dream. We all face the fear of the unknown and the doubts that arise on our life's journey. These feelings are entirely normal and are part of the human process. However, it's crucial to move forward despite the obstacles. Remember, none of us are here just to exist. To God, each of us has immeasurable value. An inspiring verse that reflects this truth comes from Psalms 139. 16. Your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. This verse teaches us that each day is a precious gift and that God has a distinct purpose for each of us. Keeping our hearts open to perceive this purpose is essential to recognize how significant we are in the grand scheme of things. To illustrate the immeasurable value of life, consider this question. Is your life so precious that it's not worth $10 billion? How do I know that? Ask yourself if you would accept all that money, but with the condition to die the next day. The likely answer is no highlighting that nothing is worth more than the opportunity to live and pursue your dreams, regardless of your age. We have so little time. Every moment is a chance to cherish and celebrate our existence. Your life is worth it. Just start. Remember that it's always possible to dream new dreams and set new goals. Allow yourself to dream big and take significant steps toward those dreams because each step is an affirmation of the immense value of your life. Two degrees. Faith is the power that enables us to endure doubt longer than reason permits. Often, when we rely solely on reason, we find ourselves confined within limits we've set for ourselves. This may seem secure at first, but over time, circumstances change. After all, nothing is permanent. Sudden changes can shake our confidence, leading to existential crises and sometimes a loss of hope for the future. However, even when everything seems chaotic and uncertain, Faith remains an unwavering anchor. The doubts that populate our hearts can be overcome by faith, Anko. That's its transformative power. Faith lifts us from the depths, propelling us to rise and move forward despite adversity. A biblical verse that illustrates this strength is Romans 1.17. For in the gospel, the righteousness of God is revealed, a righteousness that is by faith from first to last. Just as it is written, the righteous will live by faith. This passage reminds us of how powerful faith can be in the Christian life. It may seem simple after all, faith is a small word. However, in a world constantly influenced by external forces, how easy is it really to maintain faith? I invite you to share your reflections in the comments. Therefore, continue to have faith in God. He does not send us any trial or difficulty beyond what we are capable of overcoming. Proceed with confidence, for faith not only guides us through the shadows, but also illuminates the path ahead. Three degrees. Being deeply loved by someone gives you strength, while loving someone deeply gives you courage. There's a wonderful story in the Bible about Ruth and Naomi that serves as a perfect example of this quote. Ruth was a Moabite woman who married a man named Malan, son of Elimelech and Naomi. However, tragedy struck the family when Elimelech died followed by his two sons, Malan and Chilion. Naomi, Malan's mother, widowed and childless, decided to return to her homeland, Bethlehem, in Judah, and encouraged her daughters-in-law to return to their families. Naomi embraced Ruth and Orpah, her daughters-in-law, and encouraged them to return to their homes and find new husbands. Orpah, moved, decided to go back to her family, but Ruth clung to Naomi with deep love and dedication. Ruth expressed her loyalty and commitment to Naomi in a touching way, saying, Don't urge me to leave you or to turn back from you. 
Where you go, I will go, and where you stay, I will stay. Your people will be my people, and your God my God. Where you die, I will die, and there I will be buried. May the Lord deal with me, be it ever so severely, if even death separates you and me. Ruth 1, 16, 17. With these words, Ruth demonstrated her courage in leaving her homeland, her family, and her gods, choosing to follow Naomi to a foreign and unknown land. Her love for Naomi was so deep that she was willing to face all the challenges and uncertainties that would arise on their journey together. When they arrived in Bethlehem, Ruth and Naomi faced hardships. But Ruth did not hesitate to work diligently in the fields to support herself and Naomi. Her dedication and hard work did not go unnoticed, and she eventually met Boaz, a relative of Elimelech. Boaz was impressed by Ruth's kindness and loyalty and fell in love with her. In the end, Boaz and Ruth married, and Ruth became an ancestor of David and consequently of Jesus. Isn't it beautiful how powerful love can be? But let me tell you what gets me up early, goes to work, and comes back every day. Despite being something we all need to do to survive, where does this strength come from? We reach a point in life where we wonder if life is just about working and paying bills until we start a family. You have your first child, you hold them in your arms, your heart jumps out of sheer joy. Before you know it, you're only thinking about how your little one is doing. That's where my strength and courage to face the world and all its challenges come from. Because I know that besides me loving this child so much, they love me even more. Which I find impossible because there's nothing I wouldn't do for them. Nothing. For me, this quote means that, and for you, who brings you motivation? The courage to face your challenges? Who gives you strength? Besides God, of course. Four degrees. You can't go back and change the beginning, but you can start where you are and change the ending. Often we find ourselves reflecting on our past choices, imagining how things could have been different if we had acted differently. The past may carry painful, shameful, or even humiliating memories, but the truth is we can't alter what has already happened. However, God has given us the ability to evolve over time and overcome any obstacle. Thus, we have the opportunity to make the rest of our lives something to be proud of learning from the mistakes that shaped us and transformed us into who we are today. It may sound like a cliche, but it's a fundamental truth. Our past experiences are decisive. They not only teach us valuable lessons, but also offer us the chance to start anew. Each day is a new opportunity to shape our future and write a new chapter in our lives. Remember, regardless of where you are now, you have the power to influence the outcome of your story. Seize this chance to learn, grow, and evolve. Rebuild your trajectory with intention and determination, knowing that every step you take is an essential part of the process of becoming who you want to be. Five degrees. Overcoming a painful experience is much like crossing monkey bars. You have to let go at some point to move forward. Imagine yourself on a playground, moving through a set of monkey bars. You grip one bar tightly and move forward but soon realize that to reach the next one, you need to let go of the one in your hands. Holding on to the previous bar hinders your progress. You can't move forward while clinging to what's already passed. Similarly, to overcome emotional pain, it's essential to leave behind what has hurt us. Letting go of the past doesn't mean forgetting what happened, but allowing yourself to release the weight of suffering. It's an act of freeing ourselves from the ties that bind us to what cannot be changed, making room for movement, healing, and personal growth. This process is crucial to continue our life journey with more lightness and hope. By understanding that letting go isn't an act of forgetting, but a decision not to let past pains dominate our present and future, we can truly begin to heal. Each step forward, after releasing the bar, is a step toward a fuller and more resilient life. Six degrees, difficulties often prepare ordinary people for an extraordinary destiny. In moments of adversity, you may wonder, am I a good person? Why is this happening to me? It's important to remember that on the path of the Christian faith, nothing happens in vain. Each difficulty is a preparation, a mold for a grand destiny yet to come. In this world, many choose easier paths, sometimes even succumbing to manipulations. One of the greatest manipulators, as taught by Christian tradition, is Lucifer. So if things seem especially difficult for you, 
who seeks to live in a pure and truthful way, don't be surprised. This may be a sign that you are on the right path, a path that demands strength, unbreakable character, and unwavering faith. Christianity is a journey not for the weak, but for those who are ready to face trials and overcome obstacles that test their faith and conduct. These difficulties are not only tests of your devotion, but also preparations to elevate you to higher levels. You may sometimes feel just like another in the world, but to God you are a precious child destined for a great purpose. Have faith and continue to do your part, for it's only a matter of time until things begin to align. Your destiny is undoubtedly extraordinary. 7 Degrees Experience is a brutal teacher, but you learn. My God, do you learn. Why is it that in the professional world, people with experience are so valued by employers? The answer lies in the quality of learning that experience brings. He can absorb knowledge in various ways, at school, university, through books, listening to teachers, coaches, or watching documentaries. These methods are valuable, but stop and think. Where did you learn the lessons you never forgot? Unfortunately, often the most striking lessons come from life's hardest and most painful experiences. But why does this happen? When we experience something personally, our emotions are involved, making those memories much more vivid and lasting. Emotions strengthen our ability to remember what we felt at that moment, fixing the lessons learned. I want to ask you, what lesson has life taught you that you could never forget? Share with us in the comments. And to conclude, a phrase I love for its simplicity and strength, courage, dear heart. In difficult times, remember this small yet powerful phrase. Don't let yourself be shaken. Be grateful for what you have. Just as life is transient, everything passes. So courage, dear heart. Thank you for watching this far. I am deeply grateful for the support of each of you. On the final screen, I'll leave two videos for you to continue learning from our beloved Lewis. Until next time.